Ugandan and Rwandan security officials convened the high-profile cross-border meeting in Kabale district, marking the first such gathering since the reopening of the Katuna border on 31st January 2022. The border had been closed by Rwandan President Paul Kagame on 27th February 2019, citing concerns about alleged Ugandan spying, abductions of Rwandan citizens, and support for descendants opposing the Kigari administration. Despite the border opening, tensions persisted with accusations of goods, notably maize flour, being blocked by Rwandan authorities. The meeting, attended by officials from both countries, aimed to address border security issues, combat crime, stop smuggling, enhance trade, and discuss health-related matters. Major General Retired Robert Trisoke, the Ugandan ambassador in Rwanda, emphasized that the discussions would focus on enhancing trade, promoting free movement, controlling diseases in humans and animals, and combating smuggling. Recommendations from the meeting are expected to be presented to the respective president for further consideration. Gave the quite a number of directives, among which was the was that there must be cross-border interactions between these two sister countries. And these cross-border meetings were not going to be held by the heads of state, but by ourselves at different levels. It is natural that you can choose anything else. You cannot choose your blood brother and sister. The two sister countries are linked not only by borders but by blood. So this is very, very important that we treasure and nurture our bilateral relations. This is not only from me but also from the political will and aspiration of our leaders. When the leaders give guidance, it's the responsibility of the leaders at different levels to as much as possible implement the aspirations of the strategic leadership. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because the meeting we are holding today was a directive of the leaders of the two in his statement, Yusuf Muneza, technical advisor to the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and International Cooperation in Rwanda, highlighted the timelines of the meeting, sanctioned by the Ugandan President Will Museven and Rwandan President Paul Kagame. Of course, a great We have demonstrated that a lot is achieved for when two sister countries come together to foster our bilateral cooperation. <coughs> We must all commit to work ahead of us at our respective levels. We cannot think of our recommendations as the outcome of our work. We must always sought to translate our, our recommendations into appropriate advices or principles that we deliver results to our beneficiaries, uh, uh, to, to, to that we deliver results uh, to our people. We must be honest that we face, we all face challenges in implementing the implementations that we have made, but we are committed to the path we are calling. So the only way to address the challenges we will face is the same way we have addressed. The meeting, which lasted approximately nine hours behind closed doors, concluded with resolutions emphasizing continuous engagement between officials from both Uganda and Rwanda. The media blackout during the meeting was lifted for a press briefing at the end where Yusuf Mneza reiterated the importance of ongoing collaboration between the two nations. The resolutions which will likely play crucial role in addressing the shared concerns and fostering improved relations at the Uganda-Rwanda border. A story by Jonah Namara, Nobatingia Machi for Kigazi TV.